Um, the reason why we are here is to talk about my distributed implementation of uh, Wazor Sim Tool. Uh, so the um, Wazor Sim Tool, I looked at a situation where you have multiple sites. Let's say one in Nigeria, one in US, and one in China, and uh, you want to be able to look at um, managing um, this entire infrastructure from a single pane of glass. You want to be able to Maybe you have a security engineer in um, England, but you want him to be able to see and manage the infrastructure across multiple sites through a single plane of glass. Yes, there are other SIM tools that can do this, but like I said, Wazo is easy to implement and easy to manage. Now, in the distributed setup, if you look at the, um, if you look at my mouse cursor, you look at the left hand. What you have here is the Wazo dashboard. Then this um big guys the blue guys with the small white guys is the wazo server and then down here you have the wazo indexers and this is an icon simply same um signifying that the wazo indexers are synchronized now at the top left corner i um indicated what all icons represented now at the right hand here you have um the wazo agent and the Wazo API monitoring agent nodes and agent less nodes. Now, how does this um, architecture work? Now you have indexers in site one, indexers in site two, and indexers in site three. And the indexers are synchronized, which means the, the data in site one is also being reflected in the data in site two and the data in site three. And you can as well do this with an NFS mount, or you just simply synchronize, or you use boot, depending on the flexibility and recommendation of your infrastructure engineer or your IT guy, depending on how collapsed the roles in your organization are. Now, this indexers then speak to the Wazo server, which is behind a load balancer. Now, because you have multiple Wazo servers in multiple sites, you then have to load balance them using a load balancer. I would I recommend a software based load balancer like Kemp load balancer. And this the was they speak to the Wazo server, which is behind the load balancer. So this Wazo server in sites one probably has a.b.cip, then this one has the e.g.f.hip, you know, different IPs. But then when they are behind the load balancer, they have just one single IP. So the indexer doesn't know that there are multiple Wazo server. All the indexer knows is that there is just one IP for the Wazo server. Then the load balancer ham handles what Wazo server is being communicated to at every point in time. Now, the um, indexer speaks to the load balancer. The question will not be, what happens if the load balancer goes down? Let's say the load balancer is sitting in the HQ. Maybe the head office or the primary location and the load balancer goes down. That is why I recommended the software load balancer like Kemp. So with this load balancer, you can do a HA load balancer. That is, you can have that load balancer installed in other sites also with high availability. It will be like a secondary load balancer that kicks in when the primary load balancer is down. Pending when you fix the issue that um, prompted the first load balancer to go down. So for the load balancer, you have an HA that manages um, high availability and redundancy at the load balancing level. Now, the, the indexers speak to the um, Wazo server through the load balancer, and then the um, Wazo dashboard, during the configuration of the Wazo dashboard, you are allowed to add as many indexers as you can. Now, let's say you have one indexer per site. All you have to do is add the IP of each indexer in each site to the Wazo dashboard. Now, if for example, you have many indexers in, in one site, you can create a, uh, a singular IP for all your indexers using solutions like Keep Alive or HA Proxy. This would enable you have one IP for all the indexers, which you will now have one IP per site and then reduces the number of IP of index, reduces the number of IP per indexer you have to configure on your Wazo dashboard. It's a very robust implementation, but once done, it is a go to sim tool. Now, the, you will now have to ask me why do you have four icons for the Wazo dashboard? Now, the Wazo dashboard is also clustered and the Wazo dashboard is load balanced also. 
but I did not want to bother putting a load balancer here, seeing that I would explain this in the video. Now, you can have one Wazard dashboard per site. The reason why it's not ideal to have only one Wazard dashboard is because if that dashboard goes down, the security engineers, which is these guys here, they will become blind. But if you have one that was Wazard dashboard per site that speaks to the Wazard servers using the load balancer and speaks to the indexer by mounting them per IP, then if this Wazard dashboard goes down, the same thing that you have in this Wazard dashboard, you get it because you are not speaking to the Wazard dashboard directly. You are speaking to the load balancer through a single IP using the uh, using the using various load balancing techniques who then determine what load balance what um, was our dashboard to load balance the request of the sock analyst to i hope i am not confusing you at this point so let me simplify the was dashboard is load balanced the was server is load balanced but the indexers are not the indexers are synchronized they are connected um, through a keep alive implementation to give you one ip which is also a form of load balancing but you don't need a software load balancer for that um, so now the wazard dashboard then speaks to the load balance ip of the wazard server manager and then the SOC analyst speaks to the wazard dashboard through a load balanced ip of the wazard dashboard and the wazard dashboard speaks to the indexers using the multiple ip of indexers mounted on the wazard dashboard now how do we get data into this same solution now you install your agents on different devices or on the agentless device you use the api now the agents the the devices on the agents you'll be configuring them with the wazo i wazo server ip of the load balancer so you have three wazo servers but you'll be using the ip from the load balancer now this enables you that no matter where the agent is located even if the wazo server is down there is still a wazo server to manage the events and monitor it now if these um, wazo uh, agents are sending their log their data they are sending it through an encrypted transport so it doesn't matter whether these agents are on premises or on a local network or private network even if they are remotely on site due to the way it will be configured through an encrypted channel or if you use a um, ZTNA implementation, a zero trust network implement, zero trust network architecture for your implementation, then that is also good to go. But if they even happen not to be a ZTNA, but you have users on site, once they connect to the VPN, the same thing happens. So this is Sebastian's <laughs> ideal uh, implementation of a multi-site distributed was all seen to with h a with high availability and redundancy as well as scalability for horizontal scalability and vertical scalability i am open to questions if you feel there is any information i have left out or any wrong information i may have put in and i am also open to give free consultation with regards to this solution was all seem to it's too good to be free. Talk to you some other time.